All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all are doing all right in these times that we're in. Now, today I want to discuss about getting through hard times, you know, facing our challenges. I understand that there's so much going on in our lives in America and in the, in the world right now, and where everyone's dealing with, you know, all this inflation stuff, this whole pandemic, you know, bills, rent, gentrification, you know, the homeless rate, the eviction rate. You know, high gas prices, supply chain crisis. There's just so much going on in the world right now, right? So us as people, we definitely have to really stay stronger, as difficult as it is, no matter what, because things won't get easier as time goes on. You know, things will get more difficult and more challenging as the days go on. So we have to really trust God through everything. We have to keep him first and we have to stay prayed up every day because, these times are just getting more strange and weird by the day. And many people are suffering in different ways, whether it's mentally, emotionally, financially, um, physically, the whole nine. So what I want to do is just read some scriptures, hopefully give a word of encouragement as well, and just go from there about tough times. The book of Ecclesiastics, chapter 7, verse 14. In the day of prosperity, be happy. But a day of adversity, consider, God has made the one as well as the other, so that man will not discover anything that will be after him. The book of Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. The book of Psalm chapter 37, verse 19. They will not be ashamed in a time of evil. In the days of famine, they will have abundance. The book of Psalm chapter 46, verse 1. For the choir director, a psalm of the sons of Korah, said to Alamoth, a song, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35, who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20, although the Lord has given you bread of private privation, provision and water of oppression, he, your teacher, will no longer hide himself, but your eyes will behold your teacher. The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 10. If you are slack in a day of distress, your strength is limited. The book of Psalm, chapter 90, verse 10. As for the days of our life, they contain 70 years, or if due to strength, 80 years, yet their pride is but labor and sorrow, for soon it is gone and, fl and we fly away. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 4. Who comforts us in all our affliction so that we will be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. The book of Romans, chapter five, verse four, and perseverance, proven character and proven character, hope. The book of first Corinthians, chapter seven, verse 28. But if you marry, you have not sinned. And if a virgin marries, she has not sinned yet. Such will have trouble in this life. And I'm trying to spare you. The book of Job, chapter 35, verse 10. But no one says, where is, my, where is God my maker, who gives songs in the night? The book of Psalm, chapter 59, verse 19. But as for me, I shall sing of your strength. Yes, I shall joyfully sing of your loving kindness in the morning. For you have been my stronghold and refuge in the day of my distress. The book of Psalm, 77, verse 2. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. In the night, my hand was stretched out without weariness. My soul refused to be comforted. The book of Job, th chapter 30, verse 25. Have I not wept for the one whose life is hard? Was not my soul grieved for the needy? The book of Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 17. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 11, verse 14. Therefore, do not pray for this people, nor lift up a cry of prayer for them, for I will not listen when they call to me because of their disaster. The book of James, chapter 5, verse 13. Is anyone among you suffering? Then he must pray. Is anyone cheerful? He is to sing praises. The book of Job, chapter 7, verse 1. Is not man forced to labor on earth, and are not his days like the days of a hired man? The book of Psalm, chapter 71, verse 20. You who have shown me my troubles, show, you who have shown me many troubles and distress will revive me again and will bring me up again from the depths of earth. The book of Psalm 41, verse 1. 
for the choir director, a psalm of David. How blessed is he who considers the helpless. The Lord will deliver him in a day of trouble. The book of Psalm 138, verse 3. On the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. The book of Psalm verse 60, Psalm 60, verse 3. You have made your people experience hardship. You have given us wine to drink that make us stagger. The book of Psalm 27, verse 5. For in the day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 6. In this, you greatly rejoice, even though now for a little while, even if necessary, you have been distressed by various trials. The book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in a day of trouble, and he knows those who take refuge in him. The book of Psalm 118, verse 5. From my distress, I called upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Hallelujah. The book of Psalm 50, verse 15. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I shall rescue you and you will honor me. The book of Job, chapter 11, verse 16. For you would forget your trouble. As well as that have passed by, you would remember it. The book of Proverbs 20, chapter 25, verse 19. Like a bad tooth and an unsteady foot is confidence in a faithless man in a time of trouble. The book of Job, chapter 36, verse 15. He delivers the afflicted in their affliction and opens their ear in a time of oppression. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 7. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his trouble no more. The book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And he will be the stability of your times, a wealth of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore, at such a time, and the prudent person keeps silent, for it is an, an evil time. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 9. Enjoy life with the woman whom you love all the days of your fleeting life, which he has given to you under the sun. For this is your reward in life and in your toil in which you have labored under the sun. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 11. The Lord said, Surely I will set you free for the purposes of good. Surely I will cause the enemy to make supplication to you in a time of disaster and a time of distress. The book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 6. Great wealth is in the house of the righteous, but trouble is in the income of the wicked. The book of Philippines, chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. The book of Isaiah, chapter 37, verse 3. They said to him, thus says Hezekiah, this day is a day of distress, rebuke, and rejection, for children have come to birth, and there is no strength to deliver. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 32. But remember the former days when after being enlightened, you endured a great conflict of sufferings. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 12. Moreover, man does not know his time. Like fish caught in a treacherous net and birds trapped in a snare, so the sons of men are ensnared at an evil time when it suddenly falls on them. The book of John, chapter 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoicing in hope, preserving in tribulation, devoted to prayer. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 21. For then there will be a great tribulation, such as has not occurred since the beginning of the world until now, nor ever will. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great. There is none like it. And it is time of Jacob's distress, but he will be saved from it. So as you can see, all throughout the Old and New Testament, it encourages us to stay faithful to God and to always keep pushing and praying to God and calling out his name when we're going through hard times. Many of us are dealing with uh, different sufferings or tribulations or tests on, on different levels. You get what I'm saying? And I pray that you do get your comfort, peace, and joy through everything, even though it's chaotic and crazy. But always remember that we are in the last days and things will get more intense. The spiritual warfare will increase, okay? It will get to another level. Um, and it's all prophecy being fulfilled. So we have to stay strong in this crazy, messed up world, all right? So as you can see, we have to go through all this adversity 
we have to go through all these afflictions. We have to go through, you know, anxiety and stress in those bad days. You know, we have to go through those distress, those end times. In these end times, you know, we, we do have to do it. Hardships, you know, let us have healing and comfort through it all. Let us have some, let us try to enjoy life through these crazy times. Let us try to be happy in these in these wild times, there, you know, because these things are just getting more wild all across the world, you know. So that's that, you know what I mean? And I just want to remind y'all, just in case a lot of y'all forgot that he is the savior. He is the redeemer. He is the bread of life. He is the Lord. He is the creator. He is the son of the living God, the only begotten son, the beloved son, the holy one of Israel, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, the king of kings, the head of the church, the almighty, the alpha and omega, the master, the king of Jews, the high priest, the prophet, the teacher, Emmanuel, advocate, the mediator, the judge, the chief cornerstone, the chief cornerstone, the author and the finisher of our faith, the Lamb of God, the Good Shepherd, the Shepherd and Bishop of Souls, the Word, the Fountain of Living Waters, the Rock, the Messiah, the True Vine, the Branch, the Bridegroom, the Day Spring, the Shalal, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, the Bright and Morning Star, the Image of the Invisible God, the I Am, the Son of Man, the Carpenter, the Way, the Truth, and the Life, the King of Israel, He is Christ. Let us always remind ourselves that, okay? I pray to God that whoever listens to me, I pray that you get baptized, you start your life away for the Lord. I pray that you get through all your challenges, all your hardships, and all the things that you deal with on a daily. And I pray that you stay strong no matter what. I pray that your relationship with God gets much better as well. I'm Jarvis Case. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.